it is a special ceremony as this is the first coding seed teacher workshop. It is a workshop that was quite timely in this digital age. Coding is something that is sometimes daunting because of the long hours, the complexity of such a language. However, for this seed teacher coding workshop, we were able to learn Scratch, which is a very interactive, easy, enjoyable way of coding using blocks, which allowed teachers to learn quite a lot in order to transfer that knowledge, not just in our classrooms, but share it with our students. We have the privilege and the honor again through the generosity of the Taiwanese to have funded, to have supported several initiatives over this last three years or these three years. And so we thank you again for your generosity. Without further ado, I would like to invite to the podium our permanent secretary, Michelle Charles, who will give her opening remarks. It was in, on December 2nd in 2021 that the Ministry of Education signed this Memorandum of Understanding with Stuff for Sutai, a non-governmental organization out of New York. This understanding was facilitated through the Taiwanese Embassy, and they have partnered with us on many occasions, especially as we seek to advance digital literacy within our education system. And thank you very much for this, Ambassador Chen. The overarching objective of this engagement was to improve the digital gap that exists by helping students learn fundamental coding skills that can become useful and marketable with an emphasis on skills related to animation and gaming. At the signing, the Minister of Education, Honorable Sean Edward, noted that the computer coding program is an exciting and meaningful endeavor for the ministry and that it is consistent with the Ministry of Education's reform and aligned seamlessly with the St. Lucia ICT in education policy. He stated too that teachers have to be trained with new skills. Pedagogical approaches that are more student-centered must be implemented and assessments must integrate technology and new method methodologies. Hence, while the aim is to improve the digital competencies of our students, I am sure that we can all agree that a, a compulsory first step would be the training of our teachers who are instrumental in ensuring that St. Lucia graduate students who can hold their own on a global stage. I am glad that this initiative got it right and the initial sessions were with the instructor, instructors, all of you. Today we are here to witness the closing ceremony, very much like a graduation ceremony for the 15 teachers who took part in this first phase. I am sure the experience had been has been interesting, exciting, and filled with possibilities. Possibilities that you can't wait to take back to your classrooms and share with your charges. For us within the administration and policy arm of the ministry, your accomplishment today leaves us feeling very motivated and encouraged as we recognize that we are getting closer to the fulfillment of the objectives of our ICT policy. Ladies and gentlemen, Today is an awesome one for integration of ICT in education. The training of a cadre of committed and enthusiastic professionals augurs well for the advancement of our efforts as we embrace technology as a staple for instruction and learning. I know we've only just scratched the surface, every pun intended, but the potential to dig deep and reap amazing results reside within you. I wish to commend you on your achievement and look forward to you engaging your students, whether in small groups or club settings within your schools, and imparting what you would have learned from this workshop. Somewhere in the not too distant future is an outstanding young St. Lucian game developer. And all of this is possible, of course, through the engagement with our friends at the Taiwan Embassy. And we, we really thank you for this. And with this, I want to say thank you and congratulations. I'm so excited to attend this closing ceremony of seed teachers of a coding international project collaborated between the Ministry of Education of St. Lucia and Sitai 
United Foundation. And uh, why I'm so excited because it's something that uh, we all work together from the scratch. And now today we see the outcome. And I wanted to commend the 15 teachers who have completed one month courses and tests to be eligible teachers to teach students with new skills. Since uh, last year, when we signed the uh, coding MOU, I have seen a digital innovative solution emerging under the leadership of Minister of Edu Education, Honorable Sean Edwards, Permanent Secretary Michelle Charles, and all the colleagues from the Ministry of Education and for my embassy and technical uh, mission. I also like to express my appreciation again to the Sitai United Fund for providing the teachers and fabricating materials exclusive for Sanusha. And today I'm happy to announce that the Sitai United Fund will host a UN site event in July. Under the theme, Bridging Digital Gap Through STEAM Education by Sitai Coding International to showcase this achievement. And I would like to reiterate, Taiwan will continue to work with the government of Sanusha in the field of education to facilitate quality 21st century education that can empower next generation with the knowledge to be successful. Thank you, and I want to congratulate all of you again. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, from my colleagues, from everyone who is in the education sector, thank you very much for all you have done. And we hope to continue working with you in the future to ensure that our students benefit from every idea that has been transferred to us. In conclusion, allow me to say in his absence, Professor Wen, who worked with us for many evenings over the four weeks, let us say thank you to him by giving him a big round of applause <laughs> virtually. Thank you very much. Like Mr. Cummings um, indicated, this was something that lasted over several months. And for the better part of it, well, for some part of it, we were online in the evening. And when you're online in the evening, it is such a commitment to even stay up after you teach for an entire day. So I know that these are hard-earned certificates and i know that you will all agree with me that we have learned we have enjoyed we have experienced a new sort of program to bring to our classes and i know that in itself is so exciting so when i call you up with smiles with pride <laughs> beaming as you collect your certificates you may go ahead and do so first person, and it's not in order, so don't think it's in order of relevance or any of that sort. It's just how it came up to be. <laughs> not at all, not at all. <laughs> Miss Aitasha Leos, Leo. to the end of this morning's ceremony 
and as is recorded in the times of old, we just pronounce a blessing upon you. May the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and give you peace. And as it is also customary, we will have a group photo 